Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. In the previous video, we, um, uh, well, Prince Philip escaped the castle. We're, uh, we got trapped in the castle of Maleficent's castle. So five more stories, missions came up. Uh, for some odd reason, I don't know why, they gave me the first three that I can do. But don't worry, we will do them all. All right, open all treasure chests, defeat all enemies, and complete without having to continue. I can totally do this. My... My Keyblades have some really good fucking metals. Like, boy howdy, let me tell ya. These metals are strong AF. Ah, I knew it was like... Now them having me open up all the treasure chests feels like there's, like, hidden treasure chests or something. Go. There's one right there. There. Here. Okay. If I miss a treasure chest, I might actually be mad at myself. So yeah. Uh. So yeah. Um. It's great that we're getting the stories updates, but we're probably not going to get the story updates. Like, no way, like, I think I mentioned this in the last one, but, um, you definitely, like, want to be caught up to, like, how far Japan is, uh, by the time Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, which is pretty damn close. It's, like, two months away. That's so close. I'm super excited for that. I, I honestly can't, oh, fuck, what do you, okay, you get magic, or you get health back from, uh, um, Okay, well, that's good. Um, so yeah, we're, it's pretty damn close to two months. Like, we're what, in like 70-some days left by the time this video comes out? Though, I mean, it'll be high. It'll be the late 70s, so like maybe 79 or 78. Uh, by the time this video comes out, which is the 12th. So, well, uh, maybe it might be in the mid-70s. I honestly don't know. Uh, sleepy Snoozer. Okay. Um, but yeah, and I'll be honest, like, I haven't, I, I haven't even watched the, uh, the big thing that happened in the latest updates in the Japanese version of the game. Uh, I'll probably watch it by the time this video comes out, but, uh, yeah. So, just to let y'all know. What is this guy? Alright, so that's a million. No, cancel! No, 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 what am I doing? I never give up. Hey, God, the carry metal gives up five million. Not gonna attack you yet, because I know for damn sure there's more enemies down here. Like this guy. So, yeah, super excited. You guys probably see us. Like, what mission is this? 800 and, uh... Oh, this is like 806, isn't it? I honestly have no idea how far the Japanese version is. We could probably get to... the big reveal that happened... in the Japanese version. Like, we'll probably get to that point, at least. And maybe the next story update after that, so... Does that... Does that lift in up? Because it happens in Enchanted Dominion, and we're in Enchanted Dominion, but I don't know. They keep releasing only five missions, so... Is this mission 506 or 507 that I just did? I honestly don't know. But I got jewels. I, I seriously don't understand why they're giving me jewels every two things now. Okay, so that was 8 oh Yeah, okay. Ten of your special attacks and Amber uh, Opera. Defeat the target enemy within one turn and defeat paralyzed. Defeat five paralyzed archers. Okay. No problem. Super easy to do. You gotta use ten or less special abilities. I can totally do that. Totally tubular, dude. Oh my god. 
So yeah, I am. I I always say this. I really enjoy the um, the uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, Union Cross games. So. I mentioned this in my. You're not a paralyzed archer, but I'll still defeat you. That's one. Uh, I mentioned this in my uh, World Ends with You Final Remix um, video, but uh, yeah. So a few days uh, prior to me recording that session. Uh, Tetsuya Nomura announced that the World Ends With You characters will not appear in Kingdom Hearts 3, which is very disappointing. Very disappointing indeed. Like, I mean, they, I mean, like, Dream Drop Distance had Neku saying, yeah, see you in Shibuya. Uh, that's three Paralyzed Archers, and I think that's my... That's my fourth one, I think. Oh, I don't need to use a special thing on this guy. I just need to hit it with it. Okay. Fine. You wanna play hardball? Play hardball. Um yeah, normally. I mean, my Roxas metal should have been able to get rid of it by now. Um, so yeah, that like that's just a bit disappointing. Whoa, don't go there yet. There might be enemies above him. Um, like that's a little disappointing because like you know, it'd be super awesome. And he kind of teased that. Yeah, here we are. That uh, they were going to show up because he's like, World Ends with You comes out like a week in the West, and then Kingdom Hearts comes out like. A few months later, so I was like, oh my god, what is he planning? How many special is that? That's one, two, three, four, I think we're still less than ten. Nope, maybe to be on the safe side? Oh, it's just. Paralyzed Archer has to be with you. Yep. Nope. We'll just do this. Fuck you! Oh shit, you only hit the. Oh wow, hello. I feel like I should have done more damage than what it did. What done it did. Man, this, man these these few par these next parts are gonna be very fucking short because if there are only five missions and I go by them like that. Like goddamn, I only have two more missions left and we're not even in the double digits of minute of length for this video yet. Why must I go down steps? A forest of thorns shall be his tomb. Born through the skies on a fog of doom. Now go with a curse and serve me well. Round Stefan's castle, cast my spell by spell. Oh my god, it's just like birth by sleep. Thanks for doing all the hard work. No, 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 no. I still complete within a minute, okay. I love this wizard gargoyle. It's a cool looking enemy. Man, I think one of the big things I'm looking forward to in Kingdom Hearts 3, all the new heartless enemies. Like, goddamn. I'm super excited for that. Um I don't know, man. Could that see Namara be pulling a ruse on us? Maybe he's just saying that to like, yeah, you know, I want a few surprises and we're not gonna show any uh world ends with you characters. They haven't even shown any Final Fantasy characters yet, like. Like Besides the Moogle, like they showed the Moogle during like the Halloween video thing that they had, but I got jewels again. I feel like I should have gotten these jewels in the next mission. 
Complete without having to continue and complete within two turns. Lady, I'm going to complete this in one attack. Oh, an Abercani Opera. Man, I hate when they... Well, I guess they have to do that, because, like... What else are they going to do, I suppose? But still, like, goddamn. Oh, fuck. Hmm. March to the cookie. Nope! <laughs> Down in one. See, I was right. It only took one attack. I'm not counting the Kyrie metal because guess what? It didn't hit it. It healed it. Oh my god. Hey, we reached 10 minutes. Wow. Oh my god. They gave, they gave 750 jewels. Is that enough? Is that enough for me to buy? Something? I don't think so, but we'll see. <sighs> oh my god. Uh oh. I think we're going to be fighting Maleficent's dragon in the next story update, you guys. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That's Maleficent. Prince Philip's in trouble. Let's hurry. Mm-hmm. I mean, we would. Good time. Ah, no, I'm shy by uh, 600. Which, I mean, if I... Six raid bosses, I'd get a 100. Uh, people need to do more Union Cross missions, and I mean, I should do them too, but my thing's already complete. I, nope, I can't do that. Uh, I... I can't fight you. Like, I can't beat this guy, and it pisses me off. I can never beat the last one in these things, and it pisses me off. And everything else in here is 100% dode. Um. Okay, let's do some of uh, these while I just keep talking about um, stuff I'm looking forward to in Kingdom Hearts 3. So, yeah, I'm definitely, um. Like, the heart. Of course, story, you know, I'm super excited for that, but man! Oh, I should take my time to talk about this. Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, that was very disappointing. Like, it's not my favorite Final Fantasy 15 game. Uh, yeah, it's my. That's not my favorite Final Fantasy. It's not my favorite Final Fantasy game, but it's still a good game. Like, I hate that it gets such a bad rap. And I get it, but I still had a blast playing that game. Um, it sucks. Like, I was really looking forward to episode. Luna Freya. Like, episode Luna Freya was the big one that I was really looking forward to. Like, Luna Freya's episode was, like, finally going to get vindication for her. Because it's like, you know, a lot of people are like, why do we give a shit about Luna Freya? She hasn't, she doesn't do anything in the main story. And I get that. But this was going to be, that was going to be, like, her time to shine. And yes, you can argue the whole, like, well, they shouldn't have explained it in DLC. And you're right. They should not have explained it in DLC. And we're never going to get it now, which super sucks. I love, I love the hell out of Final Fantasy 15. We're going to get episode Ardwin, and that's going to come out in March, and I guess that will be the end of my Final Fantasy 15 coverage, because, I mean, I maybe, maybe I'll cover, uh, Conquest? Command? Command is that, I can't, I honestly can't remember, it's like the multiplayer stuff, like, I should do that at some point, um, show that off, I haven't done that. So maybe that'd be fun. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe as a live stream or something. But who knows? Um, right now is not really the plan. But maybe I'll do it. Maybe. But man, like, I really did enjoy Final Fantasy 15, and every like, I had a blast with it. I freaking loved all the episodes too. Like all the DLC was good. I hope. I hope they since since all their since they're just going to release that since they were going to release a second DLC pack. Um. You know, with Ard of Ardwin Ariana, is that her name? Uh Arena? Yeah, I think like Arena. And Luna Freya and Episode Noctis. I didn't even know it was Episode Noctis. I knew for sure Luna Freya and Arden and Ariana. Like I knew for sure it was gonna be those three, but I didn't know Noctis was the fourth one. Um So I was just like like, it all would have been great. Um, 
uh, DLCs. I don't know where the Noctis episode was going to take place at. Um, pretty sure Luna Freya's was probably going to be taking place maybe as a semi uh, simulcast. Like, some of the stuff would take place before the main game starts. Some place would, some of it would take place during the main game. Um, uh, episode Ardwin is taking place be like 30 years before the the game starts. Uh, so I'm definitely like I'm definitely looking forward to it. I hope I hope they don't make you purchase it. Like they should just include it with the DLC now that like the first DLC that you get as kind of like a whole. Well, this was gonna be DLC. This was gonna be season pass two, but since that's the only thing they're doing. I don't know if it's if it's five bucks I'll get it, but if it's free that's cool too. Like, it's not a big deal. That's coming out in March, so that's something to look forward to in March. Um, but yeah, like all that stuff and Tabata stepping down is, oh man, it's just terrible. Like, I super super hate the fact that it's get such a bad rep. And, excuse me, and people are even bad mouthing Tabata. Like, no, don't bad mouth Tabata. Like. He brought it back to lo he brought Final Fantasy 15 in with the like it went such through a development hell and me like it wasn't even 15 to begin with. What's my question? Okay, so it was first announced as Final Fantasy versus 13. Was Final Fantasy 14 even out when when it was announced? Because if Final Fantasy 14 was not out. They made a new Final... I mean, sure, it's an MMO, so it's like a whole whatever thing. But if 14 was not a thing when they announced Versus 13, then, oh my gosh, they technically made... They made another main... They made a first mainline... They they made... They started making 15 before they even made 14. Well, uh, released, but I don't know. It probably wasn't like that. They probably did have... um. 14 out at least the at least the first version of 14 because a realm reborn which is the current final fantasy 14 going on right now is like it was remade from like not the ground up but you know what i mean but man like i'm looking i'm looking at my final fantasy 15 deluxe edition right now and i need to platinum that game i need to platinum that game hard like i would really love to um Get all the other trophies in there first before I play in the game, but man, the the Gladio and the Prompto tro episode trophies are pretty hard to get. Hey, and maybe the Ignis ones? Nah, Ignises I don't think are that hard. I'll have to double check which ones I missed from episode Ignis though. Um, but yeah, it's just such a disappointment that that's what happened with that that game and its you know whole development hell, and it's just. You never want a game to fail. You never do. Like, I did not want Mighty Number no. 9 to fail. But it went such through. That went through a development hell as well. Like, they. Like, that was just awful in its in on itself, too, with Mighty Number no. 9. And I did not enjoy that game as much as I enjoyed Final Fantasy 15. So. Like, Final Fantasy XV is, is pretty good. I hope whenever they make Final Fantasy XVI, which who knows when that will be, because they haven't even started on the Final Fantasy VII remake yet, so that's going to be a PS5 title, uh, I bet you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm not going to get a PS5 right away. I'm going to wait till they get, like, they announce, like, the PS5 Pro, which will probably be, like, a year or two afterwards. Unless there's a game that comes out. Like, if there's a game that comes out, like, like as a launch title for the PS5, then I'd be like, God damn it, fine, I'll get it. But, like, anything that's, like, I'll still, like, PS5's not coming out until 2020, so. And that's probably when we'll see the first episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake, like, god damn. Yeah, that's gonna go through... That's in development hell as well. They should not have announced that when they did. Like, if they announced it at this year's E3, it probably would have been better. Maybe? Uh, maybe next year's E3. Who knows? They had to... I don't think that would have been... Uh, 
maybe the same year they announced the PS5. Be like, and this will be your first launch title for the PS5. And then they show like, and then they show the trailer for the the uh, Final Fantasy VII remake. That would have been great if they did that. Square really is bad at announcing their games. They announced their games way too early. They announced Kingdom Hearts 3, what, in 2013? Yeah, 2013. And it's going to come out six years. Okay, they then announced, like, almost six years after the, the announcement. It's finally going to come out. So, but the development, but the good news is, it only got delayed once. No matter what anyone says, Kingdom Hearts 3 has only gotten delayed once. A delay is when they announce, a, announce like, a release date or a release window, like they did at, uh, not E3. Or was it E3? No, it wasn't E3. They announced it at D23. That was going to come out in 2018. And everyone freaked their fucking shit out, as they should. And then at E3, they announced, hey, it's here's the definite release date, January 25th, 2019. Which is fine. It's totally fine. That's the one and only delay that has happened in Kingdom Hearts 3. 3's development. They may have had internal delays, but we'll never know that. I know for sure in an interview before they even announced the 2018 release window, uh, I remember in an interview, Nomura said that they have an internal release date. So it was like, eternally we know what the release date is. We're just waiting for the right moment to announce it. And they announced the year. So they, they got comfortable enough to be like, okay, this is the year. But then, then they got the feedback, which is totally fine because... You'd rather have a delayed game, because a delayed game can be good, but a rushed game is always going to be bad. A delayed game is good, but a rushed game is totally bad. And maybe that's where they went wrong with Final Fantasy XV as well, because maybe they rushed it a bit. Like, in all honesty, maybe XV should have been released last year. Uh, give it a little more time in the oven and it probably would have been a lot better and probably would not have gone black. It probably would have been my game of the year last year. Uh, cause... Uh, what was my game of the year last year in all honesty? Um... Oh, yeah, Persona 5. Fuck. Oh, no. Man. God, I can't believe the fact that Persona 5 came out last year. Hmm, that would have been hard. That would have been hard between Persona 5 and, uh... Final Fantasy 15. I, I'll be honest, it probably would have still been Final Fantasy. Oh, Final Fantasy. It probably still would have been Persona 5 because I freaking loved Persona 5. It's, it's my favorite PS4 game. It's my favorite Persona game. It's my favorite, like one of my favorite games of all times. And nothing is ever gonna change it. Nothing at all. Well, Kingdom Hearts 3 might change it, but we'll see. But yeah, no, I'm I I enjoyed. Um, Final Fantasy 15 for what it is. This will be my last uh, thing here because I got to uh, tier 15. And uh, hey, we're actually like gonna be at like 25 minutes or something, so that's good. So I actually have some decent. So I actually have a decent length of video now to give you guys. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this one's also going to be like, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be, uh, probably, oh, I mean, I still have one full minute left, but we'll see. I think, I think we'll, I think we'll get to the 25 minute mark. Maybe. <laughs> we got rid of them, so. Oh yeah, and since I'll be getting rid of, uh, not rid, but I'll be getting, seeing what the, uh, Rewards I get will be if I don't get that moon gem. Ooh, that means I have to beat tier 15 in order to get the moon gem. Because normally the last thing that you get before they go to uh, 9 999 rounds is the moon gem. But the this tier 15 round is uh, tier 15 is also 500 rounds. So oh boy, <laughs> that's not a big deal though. Oh my god, it's gonna be okay. That's fine. Let's see when I'll get the moon gem. They, they do give a moon gem. Uh, tier rewards. Yep, 15. Okay. Totally fine. I'm totally going to do that uh, when I am... 
uh, not recording. I'll probably do that as soon as I stop recording, in all honesty. But, uh, yeah, no, like, I, like, I've heard nothing but, like, great things about Kingdom Hearts 3 from people who have played it and such, and it looks phenomenal, like, the, the stuff that they've been showing so far, so. Is that Chernabog? Did it say? Oh, yeah, it is Chernabog. Huh. Um, but yeah, from people who've played it, they say, like, it was fine, but then maybe they're up. And hey, like, the. From people are, who have played it, and they're like, oh my gosh, it looks a little more free flowy or. Not free. I don't know. Whatever. They're saying that it's looking better, and I agree. Like it's looking great. Like every every little trailer that they show, it looks great. And I am a terrible person. I said I was not gonna see any more trailers after E3, but goddamn it, that TGS trailer happened, and I'm like, well, I can't do anything. But I could like TGS could be the last trailer they show, or they show that trailer with English voice acting. And you're done. Like, that's it. You don't need to show anymore. Like, and I get that. Like, I remember trailers from Kingdom Hearts 2 and Birth by Sleep, like, showing a lot of stuff. Like, they showed big stuff. I remember Birth by Sleep. I get, no. Yeah, I guess it's not a big deal. And, hey, if, if you don't want to watch those trailers, that's totally fine. But, like, I guess don't be pissed if you do see the trailers. Um... Because, like, yeah. But I, I, I respect you. If you if you don't want to see the Kingdom Hearts trailers, that's totally fine. Um, but, like, just don't get mad when you, if you do. Because it's, it's not anyone's fault but your own. Because you just somehow stumbled upon it. So, um, so yeah, I'm just, uh, um, oh, what can I say, really? Um, Yeah, I'm just... Oh, shit, I gotta sell metals, huh? Well, let's sell some metals. Okay, well, I'm definitely just gonna sell these metals because I do not give a shit about those. Yeah, so, oh man, like, yeah, I've heard everything's going to go great with Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm sure, um, and if that's, the, if that, like, I've heard a rumor, like, okay, I guess it's not really a rumor, but someone's speculating, saying that they think Nimmar is going to step down after Kingdom Hearts 3, which is, be a shock, that's for sure, but, um, uh, I don't know if it happened, maybe not, maybe we will, I don't know, we'll see, but, uh, Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below, check about the video, if you didn't like about the video. And let me know, do you think, uh... What are your thoughts on the whole Final Fantasy XV fiasco? Um, and congratulations to Square, like, announcing that with a live stream to s They- they had a live stream to celebrate Final Fantasy XV, but, uh... Yeah. But, uh... Still, um, so yeah. Let me know what you uh, feel about the whole Final Fantasy 15 thing. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there, too. We almost made it to 30, sec uh, 30 minutes, guys. Uh, so, eh, it might be with the intro. I honestly don't know how long that intro is. It's pretty long, though, but I don't think it's, like, 50 seconds long. Uh, it's not 50 seconds, but... Ah, uh, we probably made it now because I keep rambling about it, but yeah. Well, thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.